As we have seen in our previous module about the axial flow impellers, this module again uh, we will talk about uh, again about uh, axial flow impellers. So, axial flow impellers as we have already discussed that use when the mixing shear sense step process such as crystallization and the precipitation reactions. So, because sometimes when the product is based upon the crystallization and the precipitation is required. So, that is why sometimes when there is uh, the chance of the breakdown of those crystals, we cannot use the radial flow impellers. So, that is why we use the axial flow impellers. So, they are widely used in case when we culture the animal cells. So, when we use the fermentation process just to culture the animal uh, cells, so then there is a need of use of axial flow impellers. So, due to the low shear characteristics generally makes the axial flow impellers ineffective at breaking up the bubbles. As I already told you that uh, axial flow impellers have not as much as the shear effect as the radial flow. That is why the axial flow impellers are unsuitable for the bacterial fermentations when there is more aerobic reactions or more aer aerobic conditions are required. So, that is why the axial flow impellers are not recommended when we have to use the bacterial fermentations. So, in case you can see in this uh, slide and the diagram that when the axial flow impellers move that what is the direction of the flow of the medium inside the fermentation vessel. So, with the axial impellers the liquid is pushed down. You can see here easily that when it goes the first of in first stress then the media pushed down and then with the force that tend to go upward. So, that is why there is a gradual cyclone type movement of the medium inside the fermenter. So, this is slide actually show that how the axial flow impeller work. So, as considered the low shear, uh, low shear conditions that is achieved by pitching the impeller blade, you can see in this uh, picture that that is mostly look same as we have in our ceiling fan blades. So, that is why there is a uh, low shear conditions. So, that is why they tend to have a less breakdown in the air bubbles. So, when there is a problem in uh, radial flow impellers when there is a maximum shear, but in case of axial flow when there is a less shear and we want to use having a less shear and then uh, we have a maximum mixing of the air bubbles or air into the liquid medium, then there is a, a choice than having such another kind of the impellers. So, that is known as uh, the impeller that mostly used in such cases that is intermig impellers. That is actually the axial flow impellers. You can see in this uh, picture the center of this, this highlighted red line you see that is basically designed just like the axial flow impellers, but on the edge of this there is an other rotating design that when the radial uh, when the axial flow impellers moves that push the medium toward the bottom of the vessel, but these moved and then they help to break down the air bubbles into the smaller just to increase the surface area. So, that is the problem 
just to check the problem that exists in axial flow. So, by this kind of uh, interming impellers, we can remove, we can have avoid that problem of uh, low shearing effect. So, the agitation system has as we know that that is have a, uh, uh, two impellers that mixing of uh, the bottom impellers has a large axial flow section and the tip impeller contain a finger like extension which create a turbulence wake for breaking the bubbles. So, as the high shear region exists only at the tip, so the overall shear condition in the reactor are lower than would be generated by the radial flow impellers such as as in case of the Russian turbine. So, the intermig impellers are used widely for the agitation and the aeration of those fermentation in which mostly the filamentous organism as we can say that fungal fermentations. So, in this slide you can see there are different types of the impellers, disc turbine impellers, how they look like and then van disc when such kind of that. So, open turbine. So, these are different uh, designs of impellers which are mostly used in the fermentation. So, here you can see that three dimensional diagrams of uh, six blade disc turbine and six curved blade. Just the difference between these two uh, impellers are this one disc turbine have the straight blades, but in the lower case you can see there is a curved of uh, the blades. So, minor difference between these two, but these two categories mostly come in the radial flow impellers. In this diagram you can see the axial flow impellers having different uh, shape of the blades. So, these are the different impellers which are used in designing of uh, the fermenter vessels. So, because the mixing in a fermentation process is very critical. So, that is why while designing the fermentation uh, fermenter then we have to be very critical while fixing the impellers.